What's going on, y'all? Roman here from Left Eye, Right Eye, back at you with another Everydays. Uh, today is Monday, 22nd. Uh, let me give you a heads up here, if you're ever in this predicament. Um, I think it's always best to just delete everything if you... Uh, <laughs> If you're going through troubleshooting, it's uh, really it's really important to know the troubleshooting steps. You can see right there, I just I was deleting all of the buses, the inputs, and the outputs in the I/O setup because I spent about 35 minutes uh, messing around in the I/O trying to figure out what the issue was, um, and uh, eventually the the fix was to just select all the inputs, delete them; select all the outputs, delete them; select all the bus routing and delete it um, and then reset them based on a template that I had um, but anyway that's a just uh, IO sucks man I, or not IO just troubleshooting is like kind of a pain in the dick if you ask me um, but it's a part of the job like it's part of the process and you'll get better at it and know what order to do things to prevent it from happening Anyway, um, I had a, I was listening to my refrigerator before, and it had a nice steady note, and I was like, you know what, let me um, make a, let me get a little melody going, and I hummed a little tune for a little bit, and then I eventually got um, a little, like, melody going that I was like, oh, this might be interesting. So I recorded in my phone each individual note in different um, ways. I did like a bum noise, a boom, 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 boom. Then I did a humming, like a ha, 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 ha. And then I did a he, 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 like a little more breathy and a little more noise. And I took all three of those and I chopped them up. That's what you see me doing here. Uh, lining them all up on the grid. I think this track is at like 119 or something like that, 117. It's three, four time. Then I took those three vocal tracks and I routed them to an aux track um, and kind of glued them together with some delay. Uh, oh, I also eventually added a, um, a kind of Rhodes sound and did the same process made each individual note sound good, routed that to the bus, uh, to the aux, added an LFO tool and a um, auto-tune, and a, I think a, a, a low-pass filter, I'm not sure what else I added there. <clears throat> LFO tool and a um, auto tune with some wobble that kind of had a little bit of an onset. Oh, and then a replica delay, like a uh, a little, very little amount of the of the mix and the feedback, um, just to give it a little something. And then I got all those into one track, and then I started messing around with piano sounds. Which I thought sounded really nice, and I was—that's what I'm doing here. I'm just list playing the piano and listening to it um, with this little melody piece that I created, and uh, I act wound up going with a more acoustic-sounding uh, grand piano sound from Alicia Keys uh, set, and eventually laid down a, a little bit of a of of a track there. And once I got something I, I sounded cool, um, same thing actually, I, I bounced it, committed it to audio, I added a little bit of a replica delay, ping pong delay, and then I added um, like a bandpass uh, filter in the middle there, cut off the highs and the lows, and then a little, this is where I put the auto-tune wobble. And, uh, and that was it, y'all. Um, so enjoy the loop, it's coming up, um, feel free to use it. And uh, I might go back and use it too. <laughs> I think it's actually kind of nice. And, um, and that's all. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. God bless. And I will talk to you all soon. Oh, right there is I was figuring out how to change marker colors, which if you're interested, I'll teach you. But 
I'll leave it at that. Take care. Bye. Bye. Uh-huh.